These are fraction bars. They show a fraction of a whole. We're going to start with this one up top. This is a whole. It is not broken up into smaller pieces. It's one whole. This is called half, one half. When I separate it out, there are two of these because two halves equals one whole. So when I have two halves, that would be one plus one equals two, and that would be two over two, which equals one whole. Let me show you what that would look like. One half plus one half. You only add the numerators. Numerator is your top number. And one plus one is two. You do not add your denominators. So it stays two. When your numerator and your denominator are the same number, it equals one whole. Okay, because two divided by two gives you one. So that's one whole. So you can see by looking at our fraction bars, that two halves equals a whole. So, if two halves equal a whole, then when we talk about thirds, we actually need three of them. One, two, three. So when I look at that, one third plus one third plus one third equals, you only add your numerators, and that's three. You do not add the denominator, it stays the same. So you have three thirds and then when your top number is the same as your bottom number, that gives you one whole. So you can see in our fraction bars that three-thirds equals one whole. Now if we were to take that whole and we were to divide it up into fourths, that give us four pieces. So fifths, that would give us five pieces. Six, we've got six pieces. These are eighths. We would need eight of those. These are called tenths. There's ten of them because ten tenths equals a hundred. And then these are twelfths. And you need twelve of those. So this shows you what would happen if I take my whole and I break it up into the different fractions. Whatever that bottom number is, I would need that many of them to equal one whole. So let's look at what that looks like with fraction circles. These are fraction bars. So these are called fraction circles. Here's my one whole. It's not broken up at all. It is a whole. My halves, I need two of them to equal one whole. So this shows you what it would look like in a, a fraction circle. We have thirds over here. One, two, three. Those are broken up into thirds. Here's fourths. One, two, three, four. So you'd need four pieces to equal one whole. The important thing to remember about fractions is all of your pieces must be the same size. They must be equal. So I can't have a twelfth that is the shape of a tenth. They have to all be the same size. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelfth. Those are twelfths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So those are my eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here, one, two, three, four, five. These are fifths. So that's what fractions look like in fraction circles and in fraction bars.